Now to concerns about security and construction delays at the Games. Russia has faced some strong criticism going into these Olympics. So is Sochi ready to host the world? Stuart Greer reports. In the air, on the mountains, and along the roads, the so-called ring of steel around Sochi has tightened. As the final preparations are being made for tomorrow's opening ceremony, Russia insists athletes and spectators will be safe. There is no grounds today to say that Sochi or Russia are in any more danger than any other spot in the world. Twin suicide bombings in Volgograd in December put Russia and its soon-to-be guests on edge. 40,000 military and police are protecting the games in the biggest security operation in Olympic history. Purple snowsuits make them less conspicuous. There has been some security concern, obviously. Uh, we are worried as athletes, uh, but so far when we're here, uh, we see security everywhere. We feel very safe. <laughs> It's a different story, though, when it comes to construction. After spending a record $50 billion, workers are still scrambling to turn unfinished buildings into livable accommodations. Often the results end up on Twitter under hashtag Sochi Problems, with a litany of complaints from brown tap water to no light bulbs. The Olympic mascot even needed to be installed to greet visitors. But just how much room will there be for the Olympic spirit in what in many places is a sterile lockdown and still unfinished environment? The host city is certainly anxious to get the Olympic party started, even if the big crowds have yet to arrive. And ordinary Russians are keen to showcase their culture to the world. Russia, it's not also bears and vodka, it's also sport. It's a great chance for us to show that uh, our country is so beautiful, its nature is great. But just how many guests will be here to take in their Olympic hospitality? Stuart Greer, Global News, Sochi.